Hi there, this video is just to show anyone who's interested in a uh, 2015 42. I had this for about four months. This is the pure model, but it comes with um, um, it. It, uh, it was this uh, package called uh, I think it was um, Roundout. It, it came. It comes with a Roundout package, which includes things normally found on the Passion model, um, but it was just added to um, the pure model now, um, just to. Uh, move this uh, model along. I think it's uh, discontinued. So you'll see things um, that aren't found on the pure model, such as this uh, the panoramic roof. I was worried about this because I, I'm one of those people that stay away, like stay out of the sun because, uh, you know, just to, um, you know, slow down the signs of aging. But uh, th this, uh, I, I thought this, because it just looks like a, a pair of tight see you know it's like a thin material but this blocks up the sun pretty well um, maybe if you could just compare it like I, I, I can't complain about this this uh, cover at all it, it does a great job I'm, I'm sure this cover can be removed but I haven't tried to remove it yet Actually, I'll just keep it open for the additional light um, other things uh, that come with this is it's like the the power windows uh, the power side view mirrors. Uh, this cup holder is uh, removable, but I don't like that it has holes in it. So, um, you know, if, if the car hits a bump and your your drink leaks out a bit, it'll just come out of those holes and onto that. I think this is removable, but oh yeah, it, it uh, you have to unscrew it there. What I like about this, and then get that. Oh, where'd it go? I thought I. And oh, I don't have anything else to uh, slip in here, so this is handy. What I like is, is this this paper holder here. That that's really a, a nice uh, a nice detail. Throw that back in there before I lose it. Uh, what else? Oh, the uh, the tachometer and the clock uh, is something else that isn't found on the pure model. Uh, here's the display. What I don't like about this, you, you see that the, the fuel gauge is uh, in eighths, um, but you have to use up a complete eighth, like totally use up that eighth before it registers as, as being uh, empty. So that's not too accurate. That's what I don't like about this. Here's the cubby holes. That one, one over there. What else was I? Uh... Oh, I'll show you the uh, the front, which is prepared a bit. Oh, since I'm here, because I'm not working from a list, so I, I have to mention things before I forget them. Um, this armrest isn't normally found. Uh, actually, no, not normally. Um, it's an extra, but it's not found on the pure model, but this one just comes with it. This is uh, easy to unlock, the, um, the fluid compartment. Just, you need two hands. Okay, no, no. Oh, yes. There we go. I've seen a lot of videos where people just, even though that there's a tether there, people just leave it hanging down, but there's actually um, two hooks to rest this on. See right there? And this one. I? I had to show you something else. I had this big list of things. Here's the side. Oh. Here is the um, where the fuel goes. This this car takes a, a 91 octane. Uh, if you must um, put as um, if you can't get um, higher octane gas and, and you need uh, you could only get regular. Um, the manual recommends that you 
fill maybe half with regular and uh, top up with uh, 91 as soon as you can. Um, I like this touch here, that this is uh, just a, um, a cap holder, which is nice. I think you could remove that tether as well. Inside that was uh, uh, just an unfortunate uh, tablecloth I, I got that got snagged in the washing machine. Um, these earplugs don't come with the car. This is uh, a first aid kit that, that is included with the car. It's really basic. It was just stuck on the side with some velcro. There. What's inside it? It's just really basic. Some bandages, a packet of tissues, which is kind of cute because I've never seen a first aid kit with tissues before. But those are good to have. Some more bandages, some gauze, little scissors, tape. This is something nice. I, I've never, I never got a car with that included a first aid kit. Ah, I think I could do this with one hand. Okay, I'm gonna put this down first. There we go. Just didn't want to lose it flopping around. This is. I find this hard to close. Okay, there we go. See that. 100 kilograms of weight you could put on this door. Sand there. <laughs> Gotta clean this car. Oh, I have to show you how um, a security feature of this car is. Keys up first. All right, see that, that, that lock is flashing. Um, but if you unlock it remotely, where's, oh, there it is. Um, and you don't open the door, let's say uh, you have to go back in, in a store, in the house, after you unlock the car, but you don't open the door, this, um, the car will lock again uh, automatically after a minute. So now I have to think of something to say for a minute so you could experience the car locking. What else can I show you? Uh, I should have done that earlier but you know that's more proof that I'm not working with a, a list of things to mention here. Well, oh okay the horn won't sound unless the power is on. See that? lock is not flashing so we'll just wait. Oh this is a, a coin holder because uh, some people don't. Oh see there it is. It, I don't know if you heard that but now it's locked again. What did I? Oh yes the gas cap. The, the cover for it. that. All right, I'm gonna lock this now. And this cover is is, uh, is locked, but if I unlock it, then it opens. But what I don't like is even though I lock the car, this won't close. So I have to unlock it again before that closes. That's just a, another characteristic. Actually, I forgot it was locked. Mm, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, um, uh, these uh, seats can fold down. Uh, that one will, uh, the driver's side will just obviously fold down as far as the steering wheel will allow. But you can, um, I hope this is showing up, but you can unthread the seat belt. Actually, I'm going to put this camera down and I'll, I'll put the seat down for you.
There we go. I should have put it on pause, but too late. Oops. See, it's easy just to take the seat belt, um, to remove the seat belt. There you go. That's the car seat folded down. Uh, the lever is here, which I don't like. I don't know why it has to be on the inside. Um, so that's kind of inconvenient. Um, it's better just to, to have it on the outside instead of just leaning over like that. Okay, I'm gonna put the seat back. Bear with me. You can hear the, the seat just goes up and down in increments. Like if you you pull the lever, it won't just fall down like that. Because it is also, of course, adjusting the backrest too. You just put protective pillowcases. Um, the, these floor mats didn't come with uh, the car. I had to buy those. I made another video um, showing these. I'm going to show you the. Uh, That this, this fell out. I'm going to show you the, the tire inflator and sealant. Uh, this normally goes goes right in that hole there. And if you see that, that should be out like that. Here's the towing eye. This screws onto. I think this screws onto the back, which is something I should know, but. I don't, and I have to find out. This is the, uh, the compressor. It plugs into that outlet there, which that is, that cover is missing too. I don't drive this car often. It's uh, my ball and chain that does. So I don't know what he did with this. So that plugs plugs into the, that socket and the, the, the seal is underneath. This has a, an expiration date, so do keep that in mind if you get this car. Um, so that, that fits into there and this inflates the, the tire and seals it at the same time. Oh, put this back there. All right, um, I'll put that back after. Uh, here's the uh, storage compartments. There's a little pocket on the passenger seat too. Uh, I think that's all I could think. Oh, oh yeah, I, I, I should uh, beep the car for you because I've never seen a video where I could actually hear the sound of the horn. I'll just because I'm in front of a hospital now, so I'll, I'll just wait until those people are inside before I potentially spook them. Okay. Power on. Okay, this is what the horn sounds like. That's pretty loud for such a small car. Oh, okay, I guess I'll put that back after. Uh, I think that's about all I can show you um, about this car. I'll just add something onto the video if I could think of something. Um, so I, I hope this uh, little tour was interesting uh, a bit and helped somehow. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's neat. This is lockable. You just use the, the same key to lock this. Uh, yeah, that's that's all I could think of. I, I thought there was more, but um, that's it. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.